All right, so I got something to show you here, but I gotta be honest. I only built it because I feel like I'm losing my edge. I'm just tired of walking around ripping everything, you know? I wanna cut again. I wanna feel like I can cut everything right in half. So, just feeling kind of lame lately, like I'm losing my edge, like I haven't done anything creative in a long time. I feel starved of some serious intellectual property. So, we're gonna try this out today. Let me show you what we got going on behind me, now that I told you why I built it. I don't really have any other good reason that's the truth. There's a lot of good reasons you would build this, but I'd be lying. I built this out of insecurity. Maybe I am losing my edge, hell. If this damn thing doesn't work, now, by looking at it, some of you may have an idea, too, of what's going on here. Some pretty special things are happening. And, essentially, what we are looking at here, thermal cracking hydrogen combustor. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet that's what it is you put propane in one side you get a hydrogen flame out the other side now a lot of you guys who know a lot about engineering and physics understand why I would want to do this in some cases the temperature you can get out of this thing would be drastically increased without oxygen a hydrogen flame is far hotter than propane so we've been kind of stuck at this 2900 degree barrier it's like the sound barrier for air aspirated torches so i want to break the damn sound barrier i want to do something big you know like something sharp let's take a look at the test area we have an s-type thermal couple but it's from china so it might not work We've never hit 2,500 degrees on a thermal couple open flame test before. So to do that would be a big achievement. We're going to do an open air test to observe the performance. I'm hearing some buffeting in the air that I don't like. There's about a 20 hertz buffet in there. Like something's... Some kind of turbulence is happening in here that's causing an inconsistent airflow. So I might consider doing something about that on a future build for a stabler flame. But this is what we got. We're on a propane tank. One of the problems with the propane tank is you're limited to about 90 kilowatts for about two minutes. And then your power starts to drop off drastically. The bottle starts to boil. And the temperature reduces so much your pressure just falls off the cliff. So... Ideally, we'd be running on liquid propane or several propane bottles or put the propane bottle in some water. But for now, we're just going to test this thing out and see what it does. Okay, so the thermal cracking of propane does liberates two different substances, one being hydrogen and the other is carbon. So we should observe a blue flame initially and then as the metal gets really hot the metal will color the flame itself to a yellow color but we might start to see a little bit of a yellow plume from the nanoparticles of carbon being entrained into fuel flow
All right, fellas, next time we look at that thermocouple gauge, we're going to be at 2,582 degrees Fahrenheit. That's extremely hot. It's almost 100 degrees hotter than an old personal record. For years, I was stuck at 2,400, right at the 2,400 mark. This thing is freaking amazing. So, essentially what we're doing is we are converting propane gas into carbon and hydrogen, I believe. I'll have to double check that. It might be a little bit different than the methane reforming. But you can tell by the color of that flame, this is definitely a hydrogen flame. And I'm also noticing the inner cone. We are not in the best spot for the thermocouple. The thermocouple is about two inches inside the inner cone there. 2,582 degrees Fahrenheit for an open flame test is absolutely phenomenal. I feel like with the right setup, this foundry burner could get a furnace up to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit without oxygen. I feel like we could melt the higher temp steels and metals, titanium, all that. With this thing set up right, I feel like it's very possible. We're going to have to go with liquid propane though. The bottle just ain't going to do it. I can't sell this thing to people and then they've got to go buy three bottles of propane to run it. So. We're going to have to do a vaporization coil. Um, I'm going to drag the furnace in. We're losing pressure. We're losing temperature as well. We're Because we're losing bottle pressure. You can see there we're dropping down. But we're still above an old personal record, which is phenomenal. So right now, this thing basically looks like a piece of jewelry. I wish you could see it in person, man. The camera doesn't know justice. You've got the flame rate making that flame look all floppy. That flame is nice and crisp, guys. I'm telling you, it's awesome. All right, that's a wrap. We basically just broke a record. What I need to do is open that up. And let some air pull through while that's hot and burn that carbon out of there. We basically just broke a record. I have never, ever been able to get a torch to do much over 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe a few degrees, but nowhere near blasting over 2500 degrees. This thing produced hydrogen gas beyond the shadow of a doubt. The only shortcoming we experienced with the temperature limitation was this tank right here. The propane is boiled and we lost all of our pressure so we've got options one of the options would be a secondary vaporization coil wrapped around that combustion chamber that would vaporize liquid propane rather than running off bottle pressure very very impressive stuff <laughs> All right, for contrast, this torch right here will do a maximum temp of 2,066 degrees Fahrenheit. This is called the Turbo Torch. It's one of the most powerful consumer grade torches you can get your hands on. These type of tor torches here, um, you're looking at about 1,900 degrees. I think, uh, what did I write down? 1,922 degrees Fahrenheit is a common temperature limit that you're going to see on your average propane burner this thing here hit 2582 degrees fahrenheit on a ha uh, almost empty bottle of propane i do got to add that in there because it has a lot to do with how much power i'm able to put into it um so we're going to try this again with a bigger air compressor and with a fuel vaporizer as well that's all we're going to do for today the max temperature of this furnace to date is 2,900 degrees. I have a feeling we can blow that out of the water. No problem. I think we can hit 3,000 degrees in this furnace now. We've got an extra 80 some degrees to work with here, maybe more might have to get some of the refractory glue going this thing's holding up phenomenal 
for the torture we put it through thus far, as far as the paint goes. So that's our next move. We're gonna to try to melt some drill bits without any oxygen assist. <laughs> 